Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today with the new Devolo Magic 2 which is the latest addition to the Devolo family. Now for those of you that follow the channel for a while you know that my favorite brand in terms of powerline adapters because just because they give the best results available. So far in all the adapters that I've used over the years is the Volo. I've been using the Devolo Wi-Fi AC 1200 for the past several years with great results but these right over here bring a new technology and a little bit better results which I will show you guys in just a few moments. Now in terms of the unboxing experience I'll show you guys a few images right over there but what we will find on the initial package which is this first kit right over here we will find one Devolo Magic LAN, one Devolo Magic Wi-Fi, one Ethernet cable and a user guide. Now if you guys ask me, hey Robert, is there any difference in terms of uh, physical dimensions and so on and so forth uh, with the other Devolo devices in terms of DLAN 1200 Wi-Fi AC? My answer is that the only difference that I see between one and another is these letters right over here, Magic LAN and Magic Wi-Fi, because everything else in terms of physical dimensions and so on and so forth, it's the same. The difference is inside they are using a new technology which will improve not only the uh, coverage but also the power that we will have available from our network, of course, using these uh, power line adapters. And for those that are new to the channel, don't forget to check down below a few links or search on the channel for the Volo. You will have a lot of tests that I've made over the years in terms of power line adapters and other technology that we can use to get better coverage on our home. And I would like to mention as well that this one here, which is the Magic LAN, just for those of you that are new here, we will connect this to our router so that we have uh, basically Ethernet on our power line grid. And then once we connect any other this on our home, doesn't matter where, on the first floor, on the basement, doesn't matter, just connect and we will have access to our network. Both, we have two RJ45 connections right over here that we can connect an Ethernet cable or we can use the Wi-Fi. Now, there's also, besides the initial kit, also the Wi-Fi sold separately, which we can get if we want to extend furthermore our network. And once we have two, we will have the new technology as well in the Volo, which is the mesh Wi-Fi technology, which works really well, as I will show you in just a few moments. And basically, it's a mesh, that's a great word, but the Volo has a draw on their website, I will leave the link down below, which shows a little bit better uh, how it works, but basically there will be spots or dead spots on your house which we can eliminate with these. And besides those dead spots, there will be areas where these two will mesh and those uh, spots right over there will have a better coverage and even a better signal. So this is a great improvement over the past technology. Now one thing that did not change is the Devolo cockpit which in my opinion is one of the best softwares out there for this kind of device. At this moment I can control the Magic, uh, the DLAN and also the Devolo Gigagate just with one piece of software which is great. I can configure everything guys and in the past I've made a video about the Devolo cockpit so there will be links down below once again uh, but you get the idea where I can see all the information that I've got in just one single software with everything that I can configure on each of those technologies. Now I would like also to leave clear that for those of you that already use the Devolo DLAN which is the past technology and still great, still working great here at home, these will not extend that network. These right over here will create a new network on our house. So just in case that you already have that past technology, if you are wondering if you can get these and just add up, they will not add up. They will connect or they will create a new network. So I can have two or three different networks at home, depending on the type of technologies that I have. Whichever network I connect, I will have access to all the devices that I've got on my network. So just have in mind that they will not extend, they will create a new network, but we will always have access to everything that we have connected to our network. And that being said, let's talk about speed tests. And I did start here on the office with the best conditions possible, always having in mind that we are using our power grid and our power grid has a lot of limitations. In my particular case, it has. This is a regular house. It was not designed to use power line adapters. Uh, it was designed to plug in electrical devices. So they did what they did as they do on, I guess, almost every home. A few things better, a few things worse, 
worse and I do believe that these results that I'm going to give is the results that you can expect on any household. So the perfect scenario, I did connect here on the office and I was getting roughly 470 megabits per second of downloads and 200 megabits per second of upload over my Ethernet connection. And on the Wi-Fi, the maximum that I could get was 356 megabits per second of download and 190 on upload. Now, when I moved from the office to the living room and we are talking about a few walls between a few doors and so on and so forth, these speeds uh, were down a little bit so I could get 235 megabits per second of download and 200 megabits per second of upload. Have in mind that the 200 megabits per second of upload is the maximum that I've got on my ISP at this moment and download I've got 1000 megabits per second. So just have those numbers in mind which I didn't uh, talk about. Now when I move to my first floor which is the one of the areas that I had bad results or worse results in the past with other kind of power line adapters. Here, I'm happy because the Wi-Fi mesh really starts to see and give a better result. Now, I could get on the first floor 237 megabits per second of download and 184 megabits per second of upload, which is great speed, especially if you compare with the DLAN 1200 Wi-Fi AC. Once again, links down below. I did test them all over the place in my home and I didn't get this kind of results, actually more less than half of these numbers. Now, when I moved to the furthest office that I've got on my first floor, I could get 173 megabits per second of uh, downloads and 186 megabits per second of uploads up to 210 on download and 155 on upload. So we are talking about 170 to 210 megabits per second on the first floor on the top corner of the house, which is the furthest spot that I've got uh, right over there. So this technology really shows that the coverage increases and of course the power that we get from our Ethernet or Wi-Fi increases as well. Now, lastly, I went to my basement and on a basement, uh, unfortunately, I got the worst results, which are not bad, but nothing compared to the ideal situation. And here we can see 80 megabits per second of downloads and 4950 megabits per second of upload. So when I compare these numbers to the ideal that I did here in the office, down below, it's the worst area on my house, especially uh, concerning the power grid. So this is one of the limitations that you may find on a house such as mine. And that is it. Hopefully this video was helpful to share, first of all, the new generation of the Volo Powerline adapters, the Magic 2 and 1. Links down below so that you guys can check the differences. And most important, I believe, what we can get out of these new generation of adapters so that we can uh, make our calculations and decide if we need this kind of technology to cover more spots on our house or not and if we are happy with these numbers or not because these numbers show a real home a real space and someone that uses power line adapters well for a lot of a lot of years now well, not a lot because I'm still a young guy, but you get the point. Guys, this is it. Hopefully it was helpful. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.